Hi, there are various operators in Python. Uh, what I will do in this video is introduce to you what are the various operators that are available in Python, but uh, actual examples of using the operators, we will do them later when we progress in the course. We'll, when we are doing big programs, you'll be able to see all the operators. For now, I will just tell you what are the operators here and uh, what is the order in which uh, they they have to include, they have to be executed for example let us say there is an expression 3 plus 3 divided by 3 something like that you have plus you have minus you have division which one should you do first that is given by precedence rules so the operators with the highest precedence will be uh, carried out first and now if you have two operators of the same precedence then associativity matters so if you have 3 plus 3 minus 3 right and plus and minus are of same precedence then which one should we execute first then the associativity matters left left associativity means left to right right associativity means right to left so this table is available in many websites you can google out i have taken this from weeks to weeks so they have given the entire operators what are all the operators that are present this table is available in the internet, you can go through the table. So, first thing is, parenthesis has the highest precedence, which means when you have an expression, and if you have a parenthesis in the expression, first you have to execute within the parenthesis first, and then outside the parenthesis, parenthesis, and then subscripting and slicing. So, slicing is something which you are not aware of right now, and also I am not in a position to teach it right now, because I need to cover other concepts, so later we will see it. So we have subscription and slicing, uh, they are the second level. And now for parenthesis, it is left to right. The most parenthesis will be executed first and then it will go on from left to right. Similarly for subscription and slicing also, it is left to right. And there is await operator, we will see it later. And then there is exponentiation. So out of all the mathematical operators, the highest precedence is given to exponentiation. And just remember this, for exponentiation, we have to do from right to left. So associativity is from right to left. And the next one is <coughs> positive plus, negative minus and bitwise not. So what is bitwise not is it will take a number and it will convert complement all the numbers in it, all the digits in it or bits I can say. If I have 101, it will be 010, that is bitwise not. And then there is multiplication, matrix operation, division, flow division, and remainder. So remainder is nothing but modulus operator. Okay, we will see them later in the classes. And addition and uh, subtraction is next, and its associativity is left to right. And then left shift and right shift are next. Associativity is left to right. And then there is bitwise and bitwise or bitwise exclusive or bitwise or. After all these operators, then comes comparison. Comparison, membership, test, membership tests, and identity tests. So all these are going to come next. We'll discuss them later. And then Boolean not, Boolean and, Boolean R, if else, lambda, and finally assignment. So this is the table that you can go through it in the internet and just try to remember the order so that you will be able to answer the interview questions and also remember the associativity. It is almost similar to other programming languages like C programming, but some of the, some, some more are added here, some more uh, these uh, operators are added here. Okay, thank you.